Welcome back into Live It Up. I'm Lee Aker here with Krista Hatcher, and we're taping today at Collaborative Solutions in Psychiatry. We're going to be chatting with them a little bit later. But you know what? I grew up in Cross Plains, Wisconsin. Krista lived in Mazo for a long time, so we both know about plastic ingenuity, and you guys are going to find out all about them. We have the lady in charge. We're so happy to have you here. We have Sahade Carter. She's an HR manager out there at Plastic Ingenuities. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thanks for being here. You are a spitfire. They're no. so lucky to have you, and I just, I just always get such a kick out of you. Thank you. So for our viewers that don't know, give us a little a bit of what Plastic Ingenuity is sure. all about. So Plastic Ingenuity is a custom plastic thermoforming company um, where we develop packaging solutions for our customers through every stage of design and manufacturing. Mm -hmm. um, we are headquartered in Cross Plains. We have seven locations throughout the U.S. and Mexico. Mm -hmm. um, so, so yeah, I am stationed out of Mazo. I'm gonna have to come on over and see <laughs> you, and we'll go to Car Valley and get some cheese. Over there. I, <laughs> I've only been there one time. My oh plant my manager gosh. was like, "Have you ever went there?" I was oh, like, yeah. "I don't go past Mazo, because oh, oh. <laughs> I, I come from Madison." Right, sure. So I I'm like, you. I stop at Mazo. That's, that's as far yeah. as I go. All right, all right. <laughs> well, stop me at, too. You stop at the local <laughs> establishments and cross. Points. Right, right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> adorable. True, true. Well, let's talk about the fabulousness of, of these locations mm -hmm. and job opportunities. Yeah. Do you have them available? We're always looking to grow. Um, unfortunately, for some, we have filled all of our hiring needs currently, which wow. is like a really good problem to have. Yeah. Um, however, you know, we are always looking to onboard new team members. We mm -hmm. have onboarded in the last year over 150 team members. Wow. So if you can, you know, go check out our website, plasticingenuity.com forward slash careers for any up-to-date um, you know, opportunities that become available. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is what I love about you guys too, is the fact that you are very diverse in who yeah. you hire Absolutely. and helping the community in a lot of diverse situations or, sure. or ways, right? Yeah. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? Yeah. Us? We have made a really proactive effort to understand the diverse needs in the community. Mm -hmm. um, we recently partnered with Black Men's Coalition, I'm sure mm -hmm. you know Corey, mm -hmm. um, to ensure livable wages for black men and women in our community. Mm -hmm. We recently developed a partnership with the Latino Academy of Workforce mm -hmm. Development. Yeah. Um, we just found a need for our Latino population to have ESL classes. And when I reached out to them, they were so supportive. They were like, absolutely, let's figure something out. So right now, that's what we're doing. Our team is in a cohort um, wow. with them. And we're looking at similar initiatives for our Hmong and Al Albanian population. Good. Wow. Yeah, we have a really yes. high Albanian population mm -hmm. recently, and we're noticing that need as well. So um, we've also gotten a membership with the Latino Chamber of Commerce, mm -hmm. um, Greater Madison Chamber of Commerce. So we're, we're definitely trying. Wow. We know we have you know, some work still to do, but we're really trying to make an effort there. You guys yeah. are everywhere. Yeah, yeah. Are. yeah. Love it. Love it. I was going <laughs> to yeah. say, and but I know you know a whole bunch of fabulous people <laughs> yeah. within those organizations. Mm. So. And that's the thing is, yeah. it's you know, part of that is building community mm -hmm. and you know, doing outreach and figuring out who in your network you know that can yes. you know support those efforts. Yeah. Yeah. So I think that when I was in the nonprofit sector, that kind of helped me build those relationships. And now you can reach out to pretty much anybody and say, hey, who do you know for this? You know, mm -hmm. yeah. And they, if they don't have those resources they definitely try to point you in the direction for yes. somebody who does yeah. Very good. yeah that's so true like mm -hmm. because your background is in nonprofit part of it yeah yep yep mm -hmm. and you have all that that great base of connections and people that you've collaborated mm -hmm. with in the past that this is like so beneficial absolutely. also in this new position at, at PI absolutely because yeah. you you think about it HR com encompasses so many pieces yes mm -hmm. you know of a business mm -hmm. um, I come from retail management experience mm -hmm. so that's where my HR because as a retail manager store manager you were HR and everybody in one yeah. uh -huh. so when you have 15 years of that that's kind of, it grows with those, the development of that. Mm -hmm. And then when I hit nonprofit, all of those skill sets kind of just, you know, encompassed mm -hmm. itself into one, you know, 
um, skill. So I, I've just been able to been real fortunate to have a community of individuals that you know you you literally connect with, and they're so amazing and they're so supportive, and yeah, yeah. it's been awesome. Well, yeah. you're definitely yeah. like for yourself, you're very passionate about it, which is amazing. Yeah. So therefore, you guys are impacting our community. Oh, absolutely. So yeah. do you see that continuing on? That's that's a main goal of yours. So that's kind of what we you know we're especially for my plant, we're in Mazomania, it's kind of out there, not mm -hmm. everybody knows about us. Mm -hmm. So hitting a diverse community is really hard. Mm -hmm. So that's when, you know, when I came into role, I was like, how do we get more black and brown team members yeah. in, in, our, in our, you know, manufacturing companies? You know, North Carolina, not so much a problem, you know? Yeah, yeah. But for us, it's, it was really important for our team members who came through the doors to feel welcomed. Yeah. I just want to thank you so much of for course. coming on. We are out of time. You'll have to come back. Yes. And we'll course. have to thank Rick Esser for letting you off to come on here to do the yeah. show. We so appreciate that. Absolutely. We'll be right back after the break. Thank you.